Hey guys, I'm Combat Craig. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to go into the weeds and we're going to talk about words. We're going to use migraines as an example. Words matter. They can work in your favor and they can work against you. And let's dive into it. If you want to learn more about the VA claims process, check out my boot camp at combatcraig.com. And if you need medical evidence to support an increase for migraines, hit up my med team. They can help you with that. Get the words right. So these are the things you need to understand, you know, when you're talking to the VA, how you're talking to C&P examiners, and it literally comes down to words. And... Now let's talk about some of the more specific words associated with headaches. And this is the, I miss some work piece of this. It all comes down to words, specific words, and they've made the process easier by turning words and questions into yes or no and a bunch of check boxes. So we only need to give the information so the check boxes get checked, right? So the issue of missing work. That's not very specific to me at all, and here's why. If we look at the VA rating criteria for a 50% VA disability rating for migraines, it says this, 50% with frequent, completely prostrating, and prolonged attacks productive of severe economic inadaptability. Like, that's the actual law verbatim. Guess what's missing in there? I'm missing some work right? What's happening here is very frequent, completely prostrating, which means laying down. That's a call that the doctor makes. They say whether you're laying down or not. And prolonged attacks, right? And they happen so often that it causes you severe economic inadaptability. So the 50% rating means you have uh, more than one migraine a week, right? Maybe you have two or three migraines a week and we don't control them. They just come on, right? So, of course, it's going to impact your work. You may have gotten fired because you missed so much work because of uh, migraines. Uh, you could keep your job and uh, still have severe economic inadaptability. But is it happening at work? Are you even mentioning that part? A 30% rating, which is where you're at, that's one migraine a month that's some work you know whatever it that's a lot but let's just say that's once a month 12 months right when you're missing work due to migraines and they're happening two or three times a week for two three hours at a time that's not missing some work that is a huge problem that's like 12 of them a month for a year that's 144 so if you're just doing the math that way think about it that way you know when you when you're asked about i miss some work it, that is not verbiage that you say for a 50% rating. I miss work all the time, um, but they wouldn't ask you that question. They would look at the medical evidence. And speaking of medical evidence, keep a migraine log. It's a great way to just have that stuff jotted down at work. Yep. I had to check out, get off the clock at 12 to 3, and then I was able to come back. And you have this for like a couple months. It's just a real good objective medical evidence that you should absolutely submit with your claim. Then you don't need to define anything about work. Your doctor wrote the nexus, the symptoms, all that kind of stuff. You kept the migraine log. That shows how much work you're missing. So you don't even need to cover it at all. So the VA claims process is frustrating. The best thing you could do is advocate for yourself and understand what you're doing. I know it doesn't make sense that you should have to learn legal terms and medical terms, but that's what most of us end up having to do. We don't turn ourselves into doctors and lawyers, but we understand our disabilities and how to talk about them and exactly what to say and what not to say, saying two doctory words versus not saying enough. And that's the practicing, the DBQs, laws that are applicable to our situation we have to learn enough to win our claim so this is a huge part they quote us they use our words against us all the time and the only way you can even see if that's happening if you get your va claims file which you know 
you may not have even heard of that. This is all written down on the record. And the stuff that I said for the first 27 years was just stupid because I thought I was talking to a doctor that cared. Um, what I didn't know was it's going to a VA Raider and a CNP examiner that's going to really take a look at those notes. And it's like, ah, he's all over the board. It says it hurts here and now he's fine. And they, they just do that stuff. So but be careful what you're saying to the VA. Understand what you're doing and be deliberate. If you want to learn more about the VA claims process, check out my boot camp. And if you need medical evidence, which is a huge part of a medical disability claim, contact my med team. There's a link for both in the description.